So yeah, that's the animation that we just downloaded. Me, Pothead, and today we are going to do a very short tutorial on how to download the Wicked Whims mod. So the Wicked Whims mod gives a lot of different graphic um, animations to um, Woohoo, and what people don't know is that it's also very useful for so many other things besides that. Um, so what I'm going to do is first show you guys how to download it and then show you how to download animations, not necessarily inappropriate ones, because as you may not know, there are a lot of different animations you can download that aren't, you know, involving woohoo. So I will also show you that. And finally, I will show you the awesome features that come along with it that don't have to do with woohoo at all. So basically, pregnancy um, and, you know, the cycle of menstruation. And also, um, really great feature is the attractiveness feature, which basically allows your sims to kind of have more specific attractions to certain sims, depending on what they like and what they don't like um for each sim so you know all of us like different stuff and people so awesome features that we will get into so first we are going to want to download wick and whims in general so then what you are going to want to do is click on the itch.io um right here and it's going to bring you to this website so first you're going to say um yes i am 18 or older if you are not i deeply don't think you should be downloading this um, because that's just not age appropriate. Um, so what you want to do now is once you click that, you are going to be brought to this page here. So what you want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom until you see download. I'm not going to show you all of it just because there are some inappropriate content there. So once you get to this download button, you're going to click download right here. It's going to download directly into the um, downloads below. So then you are going to click out of that. You don't really need that. And once it's done downloading down here, you are then going to want to click this little arrow, click show in folder. You are then going to see the Wicked Whims file here. It's in a zipped folder. So what you want to do is unzip that. If you don't have a file unzipper, I recommend 7-zip. It's free. It's for Windows. So what you want to do once you get that, the link to that is also in the description below as well. Um, you right click on here. You're going to see 7-zip and then you can see extract here. So once you do that, you are then going to see all of the different things that come with um, this uh, inside the zip folder. So what you're going to see is the WikiWims info and license, the optional, optional window, Windows auto installer, um, and also the installation instructions video. So what you want to do is just take this Wicked Whims mod um, folder here. And as you can see inside, it has the, the script file and the package file. So what you're going to want to do is just um, oh, go into your documents here, right click on that, click open a new window. And here you're going to see your electronic arts, Sims 4 mods. And here is your mods folder with um, all of the different, I like to keep my mods in folders just to keep them organized. So what we're going to do now, move this folder into your mods folder, not into your, if you have a mods mods folder, as in a mods folder inside your mods folder, you do not want to move this um, into that or it's not going to work because it's two folders deep. Um, you're just going to want to drop it into the mods folder here. Um, and that is how you download the Wicked Whims, guys. And if you scroll down a little bit more down under this, um, what you can do is download all of the animations. A lot of them are woohoo oriented, um, but if you download the animations through there, you'll be brought to websites normally like Lover's Lab, which we're going to download a non woohoo animation from there just to show you guys how to download that. And then you can just like replace um, what I'm downloading for, as an example for what you want to download, um, just to show you how to do it um, and move things into your mods folder. 
So a lot of animations um, that you can download are through Lover's Lab. It's an 18 plus website, so I recommend that if you're not 18 and older, not to use these websites because there's a lot of inappropriate things that you shouldn't be seeing. Um, so once you access Lover's Lab, which is where the animations usually are, you're going to be asked if you're 18 plus and you click yes, I am. Okay, guys, so what you want to do first is make sure that you have an account for this website um, or else you cannot access the download files. So just make sure you make that username and password account and then you have access to all of these downloads. So what you want to do now is like this is the one that I want this like surprise um, hug from the back, I guess, animation. Um, but you can really download all these different cool animations that don't have to do with like inappropriate woohoo stuff. So what I want to do now is download this file. So I'm going to click download this file and click download here. And then you got to wait 10 seconds. And after that, it should download into the little bar below. Okay, so now that it's down here, what you want to do is also click show in folder. And it's going to pop up in your downloads again. So here it's also a zip file. So you do need 7-zip as well in order to download this. Um, you are then going to want to open your mods folder by right-clicking on documents, opening a new window, clicking electronic arts, Sims 4, and mods. So what I recommend you do is make a new um, folder called, um, by right-clicking in an empty space, clicking new and clicking folder and then just calling them like ww for wicked whims um, animations and there you can download all of your animations that you want um, and then when you go here what you want to do is right click on that 7-zip and then extract files here or what I can do also is just double click on it and it opens as well. So here it is, it's an animation package and what you wanna do is just drag and drop into the Wicked Whims animation. So just drag and drop into there and there is this folder is where you wanna just drop all of your animation packages um, and they show should show up in the game. So we'll see what that looks like in the game guys, okay? So now that we downloaded um, an animation and um, Wicked Whims, it's time to see what this looks like in the game along with the awesome other features that come along with this mod as well. So thanks guys. Um, if this is where you are going to end the video, just make sure that your script mods and custom content are enabled in your game options within the game or else this will not show up in the game okay guys let's see what it looks like in the game hey guys so we are in the game now we are using the couple here um if you're interested in downloading the clothes i made a lookbook with the links um included so if you like any of them you can find them there um so basically when the wicked whims is downloaded correctly you're going to see it um, show up and say Wicked Whims and then it's going to say all of this stuff here. What's really nice is it tells you if you have a Wicked Whims um, file or something that's not up to date and then it will bring you to the site to re-download it um, again um, with the updated version. So that's really awesome. You're just going to do the exact same process we did but first delete all of the files that we just downloaded. Um, not the animations, just the um, two files with the game mod. Um, so what you first want to do to use this mod is you click on the sim, um, and this is to do the settings, um, which are nice to just have. You have all these options here that you can kind of explore yourself, but if you click settings, you can actually turn on and off certain things. And there are also so many like pregnancy settings, so they actually have more realistic like pregnancy um, times like the site you have a cycle and then they can get pregnant you can get STDs um, and uh, stuff like that too which is really cool and more realistic um, and you also have the um, if the sims like take their clothes off randomly and stuff like that so you can actually check this um, off and on so that they don't just take their clothes off you know or put that you know and you see them like walking around with no clothes on um, so you can also go into the uh, settings here and click um, autonomy uh, settings. And what you do is you can turn it off so that your sims don't go randomly in leg legitimately in the background just seeing a ton of sims just doing 
woohoo stuff um, randomly throughout your game can get really annoying. So there is a way to use this mod without like super um, inappropriate or just like in your face about it. Um, so yeah, and I also wanted to show you how to use the specific um, mod that we just downloaded. Um, for the animation um, what you want to do is you can click on the bed you can click on the floor any place that you want them to do um, the animation so the animation that I downloaded you're going to click wicked whims and there's um, going to be this the the word here um, and you're going to click it and then there you can either click and the one that we just downloaded is called teasing but we can also create a playlist which is really cool and here you can actually do the playlist with choose the sim that you want to do it with so the sim would be with um with her the girlfriend and then you just want so i created um this um playlist right here which um has animations in it already if you click wicked whims and you click um teasing um you can click which sim you want to do it with and then here the teasing animations you can click the specific types of um animations that come with the um with the the animation pack um but since i made my playlist i'm going to click um the playlist button and click her and then i'm going to just click my playlist and then i'm going to choose the surprise kiss um and then you guys are going to see <laughs> what happens when they do that okay so as you can see she's asking her for woohoo even though the animation is just for um not woohoo oriented um they're still gonna get like a little buff for having done woohoo even though the animation is not and as you can see here um the animation is good for movies or things like that and um it's just really sweet to look at the surprise kiss even though they're a little smelly. So yeah, that's the animation that we just downloaded. So yeah, and I just wanted to also show you guys what the um, attraction, um, like the attractiveness um, uh, part of this mod is because I think it's really cool. So if you go into your reward store um, and if you have a thousand um points you can actually get um the attractiveness uh unique appearance so basically the attractiveness part of this mod is that your sim actually can now have preferences um and if they're at the club or something and there's a sim that has you know long hair and they're really into long hair blonde hair or something it's gonna get a little notification saying that you're around someone that you find attractive or if that sim finds you attractive, you're going to get a little pop-up saying that they find you attractive. So that's really cool too. Um, it gives you a lot of like selectivity in the game other than just having like random sims and like no consistency um, in the sims that you end up with. So if you get the unique appearance, the sims with unique appearance never blend in with the crowd no matter how average they look. So basically people are going to find them more attractive, which is really cool. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to set that up. Okay, so what you want to do now is click on the sim that you're using. Um, and what you want to do is find the um, attractiveness um, little module here um, that comes with the uh, Wicked Whims mod and here you can change this all sims attractiveness, um, change sim attractiveness and um, generate all sim attractiveness and generate sim attractiveness. So if you go into change all sims attractiveness um, you can select all of them and say select the sims um to edit preferred tr attractiveness traits so if i want to just do you know all three of them you just like unselect these ones and then um click check and then for her 
You can choose the fundamental attractiveness traits, um, hair attractiveness traits, details attractiveness traits, um, body attractive traits, so basically thick or thin, you know, um, and uh, even outfit attractiveness. So, um, yeah, you can even go as close to the detail, skin color, um, all of that stuff. So that's really cool. So if I wanted to change the hair length, we could choose um, that her dislike length would be, let's say, bald, and then the one she really likes is a long, uh, let's say, like, short, short hair, you know? Let's do short hair, and you can choose more than one, um, and then, um, we can also go into, um, preferred hair type, and then we can go into straight, curly, wavy, so we can do, like, curly, um, and we don't like, uh, straight hair, maybe, you know, and then we can go into preferred hair color and we can choose out of all of these different colors that we like. Let's say we like blonde or something like that and we don't like black or something. So I'm trying to make it seem like she's into her, um, but um, you can also make it so that the sim can be interested in. Um, so let's say that we like a preferred booty size we can say we like average or large butt let's say large average and then we don't like large butt um and then we can also go backwards and we can actually make it so the sim could be interested in um sims that look exactly like their significant other which is really cool so um yeah, so if you don't want to, like, do all of the specific um, details, you can just say, oh, I like sims that look like this sim. Oh, of course, you can cool. choose which um, sim uh, they're interested in, um, depending on their gender as well. So um, I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, and the link to this mod is in the description, along with the file unzipper as well. Um, keep on simming everyone. I hope you're all doing well um, and peace!